This week's podcast is with the fantastic Dean Morgan. Dean has just concluded his service with the Welsh Guards and he talks candidly about his time within the regiment. Tune in and listen next Monday. But in the meantime, listen to this excerpt from his story. So, Dean, let's go back. It's September the 8th, 2022, mm. and Her Majesty the Queen passes. What was that like for you within the regiment, and how was that received? Because she was the most iconic woman in the world, and to me, you know, she's up there when it comes to great people. What was that like in the army? So I was um, I was on ICSC at the time that the, my ma- my majors course, um, you know, and I, I think we were all f- following uh, the feed very very closely, you know, um, and it was I think it was, yeah, sort of during our, our lunch break, a little bit of free time that it was announced on the radio and on the news that, that her majesty had, had, had passed, and I can remember thinking at the time that it, it didn't feel like it, 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 it that it was real. No. It's like, hang on a minute. This this can't be. This is you know, Her Majesty's not going to die. Surely you're not. You know that this, this this can't be real. And I think as that sort of day progressed, then um, it was quite surreal actually because you know we all the whole course met met in the bar, and somebody rang the bell, ladies and gentlemen, um, Her Majesty the Queen and the Queen, and we all we all toasted uh, Her Majesty uh, that evening. And you know that the sort of flurry of writing operational orders and headquarters London district um, pulling out their plans for Operation uh, London Bridge and ensuring that you know all the correct warning orders had gone out. All this stuff was going on and and happening. Um, but I was a little bit sheltered from it, thankfully, because I, I was on um, ICSC. Yeah. And the regiment were very keen that all officers were given the opportunity to take part in the vigil service um, for, for Her Majesty. And, you know, again, luck, luckily enough, I, I, I was one of them and I got, I had the honour of, of standing at Her Majesty's coffin um, during during the vigil service. And that was, you know, moments and, and times that I, I will never, ever forget for the rest of my life. And I, and I can remember doing my last sort of 20 minutes and, and that was the end before we handed over to another regiment. And as I turned and, and marched away, I felt this overwhelming sense of, of, of sorrow that mm. that was my my last duty as a, a 44, 45 year old man. Having done it since I was a 16 year old kid, yeah. you know, and that that was my last action, the last bit of service to Her Majesty as a, as, a, as we we marched away from the catafalque and then uh, up, up the stairs and away, you know, and. Uh, I did feel that overwhelming sense of sorrow at that point. Yeah, amazing, mate. Absolutely amazing. Because Ver- Vern Stokes, oh, I know Vern, um, mm-hmm. you know, the great work and the ceremonial stuff was absolutely overwhelming. Oh, um, spot on, wasn't it? Absolutely incredible. Good luck in your new career, sir. I look forward to you, buying mate. you a pint somewhere at some point in your absolutely. life. Absolutely. And um, Yeah, if you, we will you know, do, if definitely. You, if you get into London, give me a shout and I'll come and stand you a beer somewhere. Perfect. That's very kind of you, Paul. Thank you. Take care. God bless. I hope your son's career goes well in the Royal Air Force. Thank you very and much. I will speak to you when you're older. Paul, you're a good man. Thank you very much for the opportunity, mate. Appreciate God, it. God bless you. This will be out on Monday. Brilliant. I'll take a good luck. Thanks, mate. All right, mate. God bless you. Thank Take you. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.